All right, so Google's VO4 is coming, and honestly, the hype is getting real. Everyone wants to know what's next after VO3.1, because that update already pushed things pretty far. But VO4? This is the one that could shake up the entire AI video space. So today, I'm breaking down everything you can expect from VO4. The realistic stuff, the exciting stuff, and the Google might actually pull this off stuff. Before we jump ahead, let's talk about why VO4 is such a big deal. VO3.1 finally gave us proper sound, not just ambience, but real synced dialogue, cleaner physics, and proper 16x9 and 9x16 videos that didn't melt halfway. It became stable enough for creators to actually use it. But obviously, the competition is insane right now. Sora is pushing realism. Other models are doing crazy long clips. So VO4 is Google's moment to say, okay, here's our power move. The first thing everyone is expecting is longer videos, because right now that eight second limit feels like someone is snatching the camera away while you're still filming. VO4 is expected to finally break that wall, maybe 15 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, maybe even more. If that happens, it's a massive upgrade. Storytelling becomes easier, ads become easier, anything with pacing becomes easier. One thing I'm personally excited about is the rumored personal avatar integration. Imagine uploading your own photo and VO placing you into the generated video, your expressions, your face, your movements, but in a completely AI generated environment. So basically you get to be the actor without filming yourself. This alone is going to change how influencers and faceless creators make content. But what VO4 really needs, and what people expect, is better consistency. VO3.1 sometimes randomly changed the background or messed up little details. VO4 is expected to lock the scene in place, so it looks like a real camera filming the same environment. No more teleporting lamp in the corner. Another thing that's been talked about a lot is better prompt following. Right now, if you give VO a complicated prompt, it tries, but sometimes it just goes, eh, I'll do something similar. VO4 is supposed to follow instructions more precisely, especially multiple step instructions. If that happens, we won't have to regenerate the same scene 10 times hoping it finally listens. But here's the one I love, multi-angle generation. This is basically Google saying, what if you could generate a whole scene and then get it from different camera angles? Imagine asking for a wide shot, a close up, a side shot, all of the same moment. That's like having your own virtual film crew. VO4 is also expected to level up the visuals, more realistic lighting, sharper reflections, smoother motion, maybe even full K generation, or at least a very strong built-in upscaler. Google is really good at physics and real-world environments, so if they refine that, VO4 could easily become the most stable real footage generator. And the audio. This part is important. VO4 is expected to give cleaner, more natural sound, better dialogue, better ambient realism, maybe even multi-track audio so you can edit parts separately. VO3.1 took a big step with sound, so VO4 is probably finishing what they started. We also can't ignore the Google ecosystem. VO is plugged into Gemini, it's plugged into cloud, and VO4 might even sneak into Google Workspace AI. Imagine generating video scenes inside slides or docs or AI studio. Google loves hiding features everywhere, so I wouldn't be surprised. Now, people keep asking, when is VO4 coming? There's no official date, but if you look at Google's pattern, one major VO update roughly every six months, the most realistic guess is December 2025. If they need more polish, maybe early 2026, but end of this year is a strong possibility. And honestly, the moment VO4 drops, a lot of industries are going to feel it. Advertisers can generate multiple branded versions instantly. Educators can make realistic explainers. YouTubers can appear on screen without filming themselves. Film teams can use VO as a virtual production tool. And game devs can generate scenes from multiple angles like concept art on steroids. Pricing will likely be the same style, 
pay per use on Google Cloud with maybe some free testing tier and some workspace integration for casual users. Google knows video generation is expensive, so don't expect it to suddenly become a cheap all-you-can-eat subscription. But they also know creators need accessibility, so there will be options. So yeah, VO4 is shaping up to be a big one. Longer videos, personal avatars, better physics, multi-angle shots, cleaner audio, stronger prompt following, and much more realistic visuals. If Google delivers even half of this, VO4 is going to change the AI video landscape all over again. If you enjoyed this breakdown and want more updates on the biggest AI launches, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and share this video with someone who's also excited for VO4.